Welcome back to the 2B Podcast. I am your host, James, and sitting with me, as always, is Colin. How you doing, bud? What's up, man? Not much. Sitting again with us, about to bring some heat. Not right now, but a little bit. Cameron, welcome back to the podcast. How you doing, bud? Good evening. It's 10 in the morning. That works, you know? Different time zones. You can listen I'm anywhere living. else. I'm, I'm, actually, we are in the same time zone. We are. Yes, I forgot. Yeah. I, I, I'm so just used to higher up. Over. Yeah, you're just, you know. Uh, More than yeah. All right. Well, I say we just get into the Spider-Man because I don't want to cut the I don't want to cut the, you know, right to the thing. I want to talk about Spider-Man. That's why I have this background for now. It'll change in a little bit, but I want to hop right into Spider-Man because I'm super excited. So, Colin, you've been busting at the seams to not talk about this for this entire week, saving everything. Yes. For today. Okay. Do it. Okay. Go into it. I'm giving you the floor. Oh. Uh- Go for it. I everyone knows who knows me knows that Marvel Spider-Man PS4 is one of the best Spider-Man video games of all time. I'm not gonna say the best because I have some childhood nostalgia of so the Wii game, uh, uh, previous Spider-Man games, Ultimate Spider-Man being my number one. Actually, no one really talks about Ultimate Spider-Man, which is crazy because you know which one's that one? You can replay. Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man was the uh, 2D animated Borderlands styled video game where you could play as Spider-Man and Venom. That's and right. It was set. It was set in the Ultimate Universe, and the Ultimate Universe for people who don't know what the Ultimate Universe is, that's where uh, we got books like the Ultimates. You know, that's where we got crossovers like the Secret Wars events that everyone tells talks about um incredible video game i have a lot of nostalgia from that video game spider-man uh spider-man 2 for the ps2 is pretty good you know everyone knows that for the web swinging but no one really knows that for anything else i at least what i hear i I played that one Um, so i only played spider-man i only played spider-man 3 on the nintendo ds that's the only real spider-man game i played Oh, and then Shattered no. Dimensions for a little. Hey, that game was great. I played that on the DS as well. It's great. It's a great game. The only other no, it wasn't. Game but, okay. Is, uh, Disney Infinity. Yeah. <laughs> Disney Infinity. Hey, Shout that game Disney is still Infinity. great. I don't care. What, that's the Skylanders for Disney. I don't care what right. anyone says. That it's is great. the best of, of the uh, Skylander genre of video games. I kind of miss that, those games. I would love to that see that They died out very quickly. Un, yeah, un, that was, unneededly that was quick. a weird trend in gaming i uh, i'd say successful like, but i would I like mean, to see the the remastered. Have stuck around or like amiibo yeah do you guys remember uh the lego dimensions where you never have touched to, like, it yeah i wanted to i, <laughs> I didn't have didn't. Them. i thought it was I, I was still coming off like the hurt of skylander just being thrown in the garbage too quick and every time i walked by i just i couldn't fathom it like they just moved along went to the through, next like, pretty girl Five to six games. Still couldn't. Just kidding. Did when you, you even play it? No. But I was also playing Disney Infinity at the time. So I was too busy playing the Avengers in that one. Speaking of which, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Before I start my little yeah. rant, I want to ask you guys, what did you think of the black suit? I'm going to have Cameron go first. It looked real good. Real nice. Uh, I like its design. I like that it has like the sort of like this padding to it, and then like in between yeah. the padding, you got like these like like oily like greasy. Yeah, patches. I know what you're talking, look- and I know the shot you're talking about too. Um, uh, it just looks really cool. Um, and I really hope that like the game has like um much like how the other games have like you have different suits i hope each suit has a different like venom symbiote variant to it mm. so i think that would be very cool but also that would probably take a lot of dev time so like i wouldn't be upset if they didn't do it's, it it's be- it's delayed long enough yeah, let's yeah, be yeah. honest I, 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 after that gameplay i need it now so yeah. and falls um, not that far they're, but they're definitely not they're definitely going to do it because after the release of the first Insomniac Spider-Man video game, um, the director, uh, the, the the game director, I forget his name, 
um, went on a podcast called Kind of Funny, and he and they they called him out. They were talking about uh, they're like, listen, why wasn't the black suit in it? And they said, well, if we were gonna add a black suit to it, we would feel like we're not doing it justice because of the amount of backstory and lore that goes into that. Mm -hmm. So I and plus, like, if you look at all of their suits they included in the video game. Those are redesigns. Each and every single one of them is a redesign. They're good. The Ben Riley Scarlet Spider suit that James has as his background, they redesigned that and gave it some like little nuanced detail. So I'm pretty sure that the devs, they I have full confidence that they're going above and beyond because there's a few black suit variants that I that I want to play as including I mean, they could the, also just include them as mods right that's what they're going to be probably doing if they release it on pc anytime soon if if they release it on pc there's definitely going to be people yeah. out there that uh mod it yeah. and i i don't mind that but i would still like to uh have uh my suits uh, no, i get you i get you you, think you get the toby mcguire I, one i oh man I didn't think about that. Because I'm totally thinking if they if they Spider-Man show parts suit. of Peter without like like with the spider like the symbiote, but out of the Spider-Man suit, that someone's gonna definitely mod it to have the emo kind of hair for <laughs> Tobey Maguire, and they're gonna they're gonna mod something with that. If we I think the world's that better off without that, but I, I like it'd be Bruce great. Man. I don't know, you know, one of like the little things you can do with the people on the side of the street instead of high fiving or you know fist bumping or taking a photo, you're just sitting there going. And they even add the music. I feel like that would be great. I don't know what you guys are talking about. This gameplay. That's what I've been thinking. Um, what, the silence is really hurting, guys. I thought maybe one of you would be on board I, with I just that wanna, one. I just want to let that go. Okay. Well, you're <laughs> saying about okay, the James? suits. And... <laughs> Dude. <laughs> is that okay? If we could just dream, let it go. Man. Brutal. <laughs> okay. Right. So, um, secondly, there was a, uh, after the demo came out, there was a bit of a rumor or a theory going around, not a rumor, but a theory, but that people are, you know, talking about. And they're thinking that Harry isn't going to be the one with the Venom suit, like, like, like the iteration of Venom, that is actually going to be Spider-Man and that Spider-Man is actually going to be the boss Venom in the video game that Miles has to fight. Now, what do you guys think about that? Huh. That would work. That'd be pretty that cool. That would be compelling. That would That's be good a, That would work, right? It'd be, it'd be really cool. But wouldn't that kind of then take away from the ending of the first <laughs> Spider-Man game where we see Harry, like, attached to the symbiote? I don't know if it would take anything away because... Well, like, like there's a brief I'm... audio thing in the in the gameplay where it's, it's where you're chasing after... Um, uh um, lizard and he says like we got to get this because we got to save harry so maybe the yeah, symbiote harry away. is dying well but... maybe because if he's away from the symbiote it's it's killing him that's the thing well now but we also don't know if that's true the, it, we also don't know in this iteration of this universe if the symbiotes can separate um you because... think like a little bit still with harry I'm I'm pretty sure that there is going to be enemy types with the symbiote. That's what I'm going to say. I don't disagree on that. Cameron, you had your hand up. You were patiently waiting. Oh, no. I was just oh. stretching. This thing has got a mind of its own. Interesting. I don't think it holds up in court, buddy. But yeah. uh, I, I, I I like this game a lot. I, I, I post a, a longer video of it and the Weekend Review video, which you guys can check out now. Plug. Uh, but I think this movie's movie i think this game is going to be great with craven um mainly because is it just me or does this craven look very eerily similar to like before he turned into a monster the craven from a spectacular spider-man series does no one else got that vibe i kind of i thought no. you know in, the, in that in that show he takes the thing and he turns into like a tiger but i, I thought before, beforehand when he's human he looked very similar to the spectacular spider-man one I I'm over two on you guys getting on something I'm saying. Okay. Are you okay today? Jared? I really thought, dude, I thought it looked <laughs> eerily similar, man. I or unless I'm confusing my cravens. Because that I outfit don't... looks very similar to something we've seen before. I think it's also I think that outfit is similar to the comics. Like the Maybe I'm confusing that. Uh... Craven is familiar 
to the comics of it's been a long morning man. Raven, i think I, I think i'm confusing the comics with the best show on earth but i maybe, think it's I don't probably know. because i think it I, I i think this is uh reminiscent to your tiktoks recently where you have been harping and excited about spectacular spider-man uh variant being in uh the across the spider-verse yeah i'm very excited about that and, and i think you're on a little bit that. of a josh keaton binge because why not? Josh Keaton no, is a great I'm, Spider-Man. I'm not judging you. I'm I know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Josh Keaton's a great Spider-Man. I'm just saying he's great. I'd like to yeah. hear. I'd like to hear one bit of dialogue from that movie, not used from the show. New dialogue. I am the spectacular Spider-Man. Yeah, that's oh, all that's, that's like Tom Kenny okay. if he was Spider-Man. Whatever. I wasn't. I'm not an actor. Um. Clearly. Okay. So boys so but no, the game looks great you're right about a lot of these things about different variants of venom i think boys it's a great one. Oh, oh now we're now we're boys web wings love so it good. love it oh love it so web good. wings love it they web love wings. so good so good and, and i like how not, it's like a, not... what's the word you're gonna say it. i think you're about to say it just continue i'll find the word they're not like they're it's not a mechanic that you know it's bs that you could only use for yeah. like two seconds and then they're gone like yeah they're essential mm-hmm. to your traversal yeah what about the that uh those the web so the the, the, uh, the web catapult not the web catapult the slingshot uh the slingshot yeah, that slingshot, slingshot was really cool That's i hope you can i hope you can do it in any area where there's like you know you yeah. know what I'm talking about. I was just gonna say, like, I hope in, it's not in like select areas where, like, you can well, only I think, I think do that it. That would be the case. You have to do it four not times in all out the of the map. I mean, it, over the entire map, there's going to be specific spots. Like in that in that one scene we saw with Miles, someone compared that one screenshot to the screenshot of the original game with either Miles or uh, uh, Peter, and those two pools aren't there. They added them later, so I think they're going to be doing that to no. various spots. What I mean, what I mean is like you can do it like not just on poles, but also in between buildings as well. Yeah, that would like be, oh. that's what I'm hoping. You know, it's like it's not like in select like areas. Lamp posts. You, you could know? actually you can incorporate it into your traversal, like the web cool. wings, where you can activate them whenever you want. That'd be cool. And are you think they're going to keep yeah. doing like those wind tunnel things, like they had between the buildings? Yeah. um i would think so i would think so but like kind of cool. i don't i don't think like the wind tunnels it, it, it's more I, I think it's just more or less like an option where like you can like gain speed yeah but, you know i think i i, I don't dude dude guys it's... you think i add animations as well like you know like when you go through when you're uh when you're swinging through the city and you go through that cement pipe and they do that you know really cool like small animation you think they're gonna keep doing that like they did for the subway cart yeah That'd be yeah, cool. I I it would make sense. Yeah, I don't know where else they would do it from, but also at the same time, I didn't know they were gonna do this. Construction so I'm pretty buildings. Sure they, have, um, mm-hmm. yeah. Maybe. I mean, it's also like, a giant hole. So, or like in between, like you know, those like a, like a train or some some shindig, you know, or, you know, stuff like Spider Man stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, I. Uh, guys, I, 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 the last thing on my wish list for this video game, my, the last, last thing I want, and I texted to you guys this in the group chat, is for us to play as Venom. That'd be cool. That'd be pretty cool. That would be cool. But, and not but, but, and, and, if the theory is true mm-hmm. that Peter is going to be the antagonist, he's going to be Venom then maybe maybe like there's that's a how you think you'll play as venom i think we will progressively i i hope theory i hope we progressively get darker our abilities will continue to get more aggressive until mm. we become venom gradually through the story i mean he crushed that guy's sternum by kicking him a thousand times in the chest that man's not breathing <laughs> That's pretty You're not, aggressive enough. Don't no. tell me y'all didn't get hyped for that stuff. That no, was no, that man. killed me. That no. killed me. And I that guy like, oh. killed that guy too. Like it killed that guy. You think he's you know gonna what did you guys more get happen? What as far as what's like, up, Cam? Uh, I I think what would be interesting is like um them doing like a separate like Venom game on the same scale as like the Miles Morales, like a one. DLC. Oh, like a, like an extension. Mean, 
Yeah, sort of like like a second yeah. like two point five, where like you're just this hulking like version of Venom and like, like the Disney Infinity Venom. Yeah, like, yeah, that's the like, Venom I think. You think they're gonna bring Agent Venom in the third game if they do a third uh, game? That would be cool. Yeah. He's more of like a. I don't know. I feel like if they're expanding like, like the mass of Berlin, think there's. I don't think there's plenty of setup. Uh, well, for yeah. an agent venom yeah just one agent venom. i mean i l- like that would the be game cool. also isn't out yet maybe like in a dlc we run into eddie and that would be cool and if cameron what he's saying is true and like we get like a like this is all hypothetical if we get a venom game mm. out of this is that you know he would probably be more of a skin rather than like an, an essential story because we don't know anything i i i don't even think there is a reference to flash thompson in the uh, backpack collectibles of the first spider-man video game so you would have to like you would you would have to really speed up the process of like okay flash was a bully okay flash was in the army okay flash got his legs cut off and plus you know but in a perfect world, That's we fair. got an Agent Venom that was a third-person shooter combined with the video game of Prototype. I don't know if you guys are you guys remember the video game Prototype. You told me about it. Like that would be. Now I want an Agent Venom video game. All right, James. Thanks a Gears lot. Of war, but... Welcome. Gears yeah. of War, but Welcome. Gears of War, but Gears of War. That would be so. What's cool. What's that one? It's like the like Forgotten <laughs> Sun or something like that. No, that's not it. Uh, uh, whatever. All right. Yeah. I'm trying to remember that one game where you play as you play as that one guy. He's got a beanie on and he's got like this dark Sunset. power. No. Huh? Uh, no. Um. It's it's infamous. Metal infamous. Miss Second Son. Yes. Okay. I knew there was a the word "son" in there. Yeah. Infamous. That'd be kind of fun. You know, like a Gears of War infamous kind of thing. Uh, the developers bit. of the infamous video games, like right before the first Spider-Man video game was announced, uh, they there was a rumor that PlayStation was developing a Spider-Man video game, and Insomniac was the last developers ever anyone ever really talked about. People thought it was going to be Sucker Punch, the developers of the infamous video games. I've, and you know, logically, that does make sense. It's like the people who make right. the superhero game make the other superhero game. Like that checks out. I get yeah, that. yeah. Then and then like, so like, when you see that, what what's up? Then you look at Insomnia. I can see like their history of like traversal base, like open worlds, like Sunset Overdrive, and it's like yeah, that that's awesome. a great game. I don't care what anyone says. That's like, that's a fun game. On. Very much slept on. I, I love that video again. I haven't played it, so it's fun. I think but you'll find it fun. Very fun. Love it. Yeah. It's 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 it has that a uh, Scott Pilgrim meets Ratchet and Clank kind of vibe. Yeah, where that's it's a great very way to put it, Colin. Whimsical and uh fun and the dialogue is actually not cringy at all. Like there are plenty of times that I just laugh. That's and good. also Yuri Lowenthal um, I was just gonna say. Yuri Lowenthal plays as the male character. You can create your own character. There's uh, two That's different. That's actually uh, his name, by the way. It's male player, and then Stephanie Lemon uh, Lemelin is uh, Lemelin is female player. And like, if you remember, name. if you remember, uh, 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 Screwball, Screwball, yeah, sh- that's her. Okay. Hey, Screwball's in Spider Man Two. S- Screwball was in Sunset Overdrive. She was the female character. No, no, who am I thinking of? But Screwball. Screwball. Wasn't hold on, Screwball's in Spider-Man the first game, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's more in prominently game. in the DLC though. I... The DLC in which she becomes my number one enemy. Yeah. yeah. Public enemy number one on everyone's list when they play that game. Cameron, were you just a little bit upset that like Spider-Man didn't like give her a lick or two? like yeah it was just like her. as soon as the as, as soon as like i finished that quest line and she's just like in the cop car and then like i'm like no this doesn't get, get her out of there i need a couple cracks at her yes all, all, all that, so that cyber bullying she's been doing to me like i've been doing my best and she's just like you suck and i'm like <laughs> all that cyber bullying <laughs> You're mean, and I want to. I want to fight you. 
Uh, yeah, she was pretty okay. hardcore with those. What was it called? Like uh, uh, photo bombs. Whoa. I. Oh my god! I hear, I hear, I. Their hear voice like rings PTSD. in my mind. It like, and that's a photo photo bomb. Bomb. like if you make one mistake, she'd be like, "You idiot! You moron! Came and do your job!" You absolute buffoon. Like she would uh, just make you feel okay, so well, bad. That's... Yeah. Okay. Aside from Screwball, this is actually a good thing. Okay. Mm. So they announced that Tombstone's going to be in the game because we saw his photo. Tombstone oh, right. Wraith, who is Yuri. Yeah. Um, so she's she's confirmed she might be a side mission. Probably. Uh, hopefully she's, you know, hopefully she's in the main campaign until she becomes a prominent side mission. Um, Black Cat has been confirmed to be in it. Lizard, you, you got it. Um, you think they're gonna do a, a, a Spider-Man black suit? Shocker! Just like a that would be so good. Get back here! <laughs> <laughs> I will chase you to the ends of the earth. It's got to be in the church too. Like it's got to. It's like they have to recreate that scene. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be done. Yeah. So, be fun. who would you guys want to have the presented in the spider-man 2 video game other than the ones that are already announced who did you feel like would be a good fit uh towards the uh tone of this video game i feel like seeing kingpin again would be kind of fun what'd you say sandman sandman would be sandman but he's in he's in that little vial that's yeah yeah um you think mysterio could be hinted for the third game I'd be down for Mysterio this game too. Yeah, um, that'd be really cool. Mysterio would make sense. I would. I don't want to see Rhino again. I think he's good for the first two. Yeah, he's been in it a lot. Yeah. He's, he's out of it. He's done. Big wheel. <laughs> the big wheel. Oh, Armadillo! You think it'd be a fun DLC for Miles? Yeah, work. Do you, but I'm do you talking think about my guy. Gonna be a DLC. Wheel. I, I'm gonna assume there's always gonna be a DLC with these kind of games because if Armadillo is gonna be in uh, across the Spider Verse, spoilers. Uh, I mean, yeah, that is a spoiler. Games? I didn't know that. Thanks, James. Oh, well, you guys don't watch TV. It's on, I saw it on TV. <laughs> My bad. Um, <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, I mean, I if you're doing Venom, hmm. I'd love to see Carnage. Or maybe like a hint of the other symbiotes. That'd be fun. Mm. Uh, so okay. You think so they're also that... you think they're gonna do the Spider Verse thing? Sorry to interrupt. I'm just I've heard rumors that this could lead yep. to a, a Spider Verse ish game. Okay. So I heard that rumor too. I, I don't know how I feel. I I like Spider Verse, but yeah. also I feel like every Spider Man story in the last five years has been Spider Verse. Mm-hmm. So I need one thing to just be a normal Spider Man story. Yes. Okay. I need this to just be like Peter Parker Spider-Man. is a man doing yeah. his thing and he gets to fight people sometimes mm-hmm. and they're just like we have Into the Spider-Verse coming out next week and it's like um, wait it comes out next week? June 2nd yeah on Friday oh we're in May yeah I know time moves pretty quick when you're having fun yeah I for the past two months I thought we were in April. <laughs> Good thing you didn't say anything like November. Wow. Yeah. Wow, we're really killing this year. Really yeah, into the yeah. uh across the spider verse comes out next week. Holy holy you guys cow. got your tickets yet? No. No. <laughs> okay. Oh. All right. Need- um have you guys had got your tickets for the flash? I know I know one person is very excited to see this movie. One person who's gonna see it in theaters. Who, yeah, it's yeah, just I'm you. gonna see it. I'm so excited. I, I, I don't think I've ever dreaded a movie more. I, I'm so afraid. Okay, Cameron. Well, no, because remember the last time he said he's really scared they're gonna CGI resurrect Christopher Reeves. They're not. They're There's so like not, a leak that like... actually shows all of the cameos. <laughs> what? Are you, what's with the face oh, then? Have you? Oh, did you hear it on Reddit? Because that's where you you get your news from two places. Reddit and the other one. That's towards you, Cameron. Did you read it on Reddit or 
Oh no! I was just like I had a gut feeling that like yeah. that might happen, and I'm like, no. That thing. would just be so wrong. That'd be so wrong in thousands of ways. Yeah, but they're not. Uh, they're gonna use archived footage for Christopher Reeve. Archive and it's, it's gonna be for like, footage? but it's it, but it's gonna be for like two seconds while uh Barry is. How they're doing it is while Barry is traveling. Wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Time out. Time out. Uh, got ahead of ourselves there a little bit. Um, this is a quick little spoiler warning for The Flash. Uh, if you guys are wanting to avoid spoilers for this movie, it's coming out in a little bit. Totally understand. Uh, you guys can go to this timestamp on the screen, but if you're listening to audio, it's going to be 28:45. One warning. Good luck. Wait, 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 wait. This could be spoiler warnings. We're just going to throw it out there. <laughs> okay. Whoa. <laughs> We'll talk Whoa. about it when the movie actually Let's comes out. Okay, all right. Possible. Okay, guys. guys yeah, guys, guys, major possible spoilers. Spoiler warning. Major cool. possible spoiler warning. Uh, go right, to this timestamp right here three, if you have it. If you want to skip it, go to the timestamp. Two, one. Okay. So the leak that was uh, announced was talking about Nicolas Cage, Superman. He was going <laughs> to appear fighting or he was going to appear fighting a robot, a robot um, spider, I think a robot spider. <laughs> yeah. So God. you see all of these cameos in oh. the course of Barry Allen uh, traveling through time. And that's where you get like archive footage of Christopher Reeve's Superman. It's not CGI. It's just like, you know, they, it's archive footage, but also adjusted for the that's technology. A it's a remastered, but they have to remaster it or else it's going to look terrible because, sure. you know, when a movie comes pulling out, up okay, archived, well. when, yeah, when you're pulling up archive footage from that time, you definitely have to edit it just a little bit. Sure. Um, and uh who else about the robot spider um uh john peters who's like a producer of movies he just like every like big action movie he worked on he tried to put a big metal spider in it which is really funny and he finally succeeded with the wild wild west movie with uh with uh will smith and i think that's really really funny that's nice how how could he have done he, that for a Star Is Born? That would have been pretty wild to see. A robot <laughs> spider is a metaphor it's a, it's a, it's for for, for, for Lady Gaga spider. and Brad Pitt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The robot spider was the belt. It hits the shadows. That's what they call the spider. Um, who so else, for the Nicolas Cage, Remind is me. it going to be like the test footage that they use, or is it going to be like Nick Cage and a Spider Man going like I'm Superman? Like, is it going to be him? Like is that gonna be it or I think it it, it it'll probably be like they they it, it is a it is the Nicolas Cage Superman, but not mm -hmm. the actual Nicolas Cage, like kind of like the body double, but no. you know, more or less like a deep cut reference. Either that or they happen to have gotten Nicolas Cage again, which would be cool. Um be wild. I don't know how they would pull that off because Nicholas Nicholas Cage Superman from that test uh, footage looks nothing like the Nicholas Cage for today. Okay. So well, I don't know how fun. they're going to pull it off, but the leak says that the that's that's the Superman that's going to be cameoing, and I don't mind that or hate that at all. I think that's pretty cool. Like right. I think that's awesome that like they they incorporated Tim Burton Superman into the lore of uh, yeah. Yeah, he looks I still good, would have loved man. to see that movie. He looks good. I, don't know, I think he looks that's pretty a good, good it. suit. Come on, that's a, that's that's a, a pretty, good. it's a pretty solid suit. Good, good, solid looking hair. That's a good suit. Yeah, I'm not All right. like that. Suit. I, I think we're pretty much good with Spider Man at this point. I think now we got to transition into the uh, the other the, the other thing. Let's see. Hold on, I'm gonna. You were talking about Flash. Flash. Oh, sorry, I meant Flash. <laughs> we talked about Spider Man. We we went there. Uh, let's hold on. Let's get into it. All right. We are finally now doing our Star Wars hot takes. Let's do this. I've been waiting. I've barely finished my list because I couldn't, I really couldn't, uh, think of enough things that wasn't like an absolute lie on how I felt about things, but here we go. So we're going to have three levels. We're going to have level one, two, and three, all titled different things. And first one's going to be going with mild hot takes. Uh, who wants to go first? 
Um, I'm gonna raise my hand. Whoa! All right, go for it, dude. Um, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I didn't know we were doing Star Wars hot takes. I texted. I... This is what I text. I this is why we have a group chat, Colin. <laughs> this is explicit uh, reason. I do have hot takes off the top of the dome, if that Great. means anything. Then you're gonna but go first I before you forget. Wanted my I wanted my honesty to be out there. I really appreciate that. Uh, since you're here with it, go first. I don't want you to forget it. Okay. Um, I think Boba Fett's overrated. Oh my! That's like one of mine, Colin. Just, just. No, like, I can't say that one. Character or the show. The character. I think at the time people thought he was. I, I I'm speaking of the time, is uh hey, people were you know creaming their pants over how cool he looked, and that was it. Yeah. He was so cool and then he the whole culture around him. Yeah. That he's not even and... technically a part of, which is very weird. Well, well, hold on. No, Boba has officially come out and said in his in the, Ma- the Mandalorian show that he has a chain code. His dad was a Mandalorian and he was raised in that area, right? Yeah, but I think it was funny that there's like even debate. Yeah, I know. That's true. Well, so then Colin, answer this. Who do you, so if if this is exactly what I wrote, I A, that's a true testament of best friends. Second, who do you think is the actual, who do you think is the best bounty hunter then? The best bounty hunter. Like, if you think he's overrated, then who do you think he's, then what do you think is better? I think so far it would have to be, is the Mandalorian still a bounty hunter? Yeah. Technically, yes. But now he's like, because I, I like recently or... he hasn't really been doing too much bounty hunting. Like, I, yeah. I'd say like the first season he was strictly a bounty hunter. I, I kind of range so you, it towards... You're saying the like, best living bounty hunter is Boba. Yeah, the is, best is, living. Is Mando. So, but you, you think there's anyone better than him? Cad Bane at his peak was pretty cool. I was going to say Cad Bane's the best one and not Boba. That was going to be I mine. didn't want to say Cad Bane because he went out and died by the hands of Boba Fett. Yeah, but that was a and horrible Bane, fight. He was old. He was, he, he was like 20 years past his expiration also, date. Like, that he still had that draw. Weird. Nothing in that show. I, I know, but when you bring <laughs> back Cad Bane like that, and then you wild. kill him off like that, it was pretty weak. It I makes me have... like him less because I'm like, <laughs> oh, cool, we're gonna get some dope, and he died yeah. with the cringiest like face, Toby Maguire like ugly face. Where he's like, hey, give him a break. He had a fake face. You know, they couldn't animate his full expression all the way. No, I'm talking about Boba Fett when he oh. like just you know charged that spear. That's actually just... there's actually a reason why, and I feel like if I tell you, you're gonna feel bad. There's so... always a reason why with well, Star Wars. Well, for a reason why Tomara wanted to make that. There's a reason why Tomara himself he chose to make that face because in Mori culture those expressions are like a testament to like warrior and fighting and all that stuff. That's what I've been told. That's why he said he makes those faces when he did that fight in season two of Mando doesn't look good for film <laughs> all right cameron what's your next one give it give us one here i got a, I got a mild hot take okay um i feel like george lucas desperately needed more uh actual like cooks in the kitchen when it came to the prequel trilogy and not just yes men yeah Definitely absolutely needed, needed another voice in there to uh just tell him yeah like hey don't do that because <laughs> i because that's because my mild hot take was midichlorians is the worst excuse for the force oh it's so bad it's so bad i i truly i just hate it like i love that joke in community that abed and he's like he's like why are you telling people not to go see that star wars movie star wars is for everyone and he goes midichlorians midichlorians dad like <laughs> like i guess they made it kind of cooler later on but it's still not as cool. It's like a, it's like a yeah. dad in a midlife crisis that puts on like a new coat of paint in his car. It's Trying not that to cool. like quantify the force in any capacity makes it so not cool. Uh, yeah, I think it was kind of cool that like anyone can join if they like like if it's it's like this living believe. thing. Yeah, yeah. If you believe, not like if you got a certain you know blood count, then you're like in it, but not really. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's stupid. All right. Also, a, another mild hot take in the same way. Uh, 
uh, in the same vein is that the sequel trilogy needed less cooks in the kitchen and needed a consistent voice. Thank you. Because I was because one of mine was also JJ did not need to make a new trilogy. He would have been good with one movie. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think that you That's a yeah, I think a well, was that a disagreeing yeah or was that like a yeah? No, it, it was like a defeated, yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, if you disagree, like, let's bring it. That's what this is for. But I feel like yeah. we're all agreeing on these ones. This yeah. is not really hot takes, these are like mild salsa. Come all on, right. bring it in. I, I'm I'm saving the I'm saving the good shit. Okay, Colin, you got one? You got a final mild? Uh, two things to comment on that. Um, one, if they have a sense of where the trilogy would go, mm -hmm. they, they should definitely make a trilogy. Sure, but yeah. secondly, my hot take is no more trilogies. All right. It's like no more trilogies, like in general, you know, let's stop building and let's just start telling stories and just sort of create almost like you know an anthology not anthology but you know like you know each different star wars property has a different tone a different voice and you know fleshes out the universe and i feel like the universe that has already been you know explored has already been fleshed out but there's definitely areas in the galaxy that hasn't been explored which makes me excited about properties like james mangold's first jedi story like we don't know what the first jedi is i'm sure that there probably was like lore about that you know yeah years, there's books and years before and everything um but yeah, to get a story like that of the saga the better mm -hmm. what's up <laughs> The farther we get away from the Star Wars, the, the Skywalker saga in like the, the future of Star Wars stories. Okay. Like One last thing. Third thing. No more Skywalkers. Thank you. I, that was also one of mine that Ray should have not been a Skywalker, but stayed as a Palpatine to correct that name instead of destroying the galaxy, what it's known for and saving it. Like putting out a new how name. Did you guys, how did you guys feel about that theory before the Rise of Skywalker came out? where the Jedi were no longer going to be called Jedi at the end of that movie. They're, they were going to be called Skywalkers. Because I always liked that. Mm, I liked the original Abram story, where Rey is actually, like, the bad guy. I feel like that would have been really cool. Uh, back to your point, Colin. That would be cute. I kind of... I don't hate it, but also, like... <laughs> I don't... I, I, I don't need it either. Yeah, like I don't hate it, but it's just not the direction I wanted it to go. Like the original Abram story where it was like back on Coruscant, they had the Giants battle, Ray was gonna end up being the bad guy, she had a double lightsaber, all these different things. I thought that was kind of cool. Never once got any okay. bit of that. So um James, do you have more? I mean, kind of, but I mean none of so them are I like turn up the heat. I mean, yeah, I guess I guess we just go straight into hot. Um, so is there I, not? The, the, we go straight into hot, like straight oh. out of mild into the hot, uh, you know, out of the frying pan into the fire kind of thing. Um, All right, first camera. one I'm going to start I off want... with. Oh, what are you going to get? You're going to go? Oh, uh, if you wanted the fire to start, like I, I Cameron, maybe, Cameron maybe like readjusted himself. So, like, he looked ready. <laughs> I think Cameron should kind of, you know, best for yeah. last. Um, I don't know if this is going to start something. I feel like maybe you guys will be. I don't know. I'm just going to go into it. Uh, Plo Koon was the most understanding Jedi Master in general and does not get recognized enough and is possibly the best Jedi Master, period. Like, best Jedi. I can't agree because I don't know who that is. You know the guy that had, like... The... <laughs> he had, like, the metal face. Uh, he had, like, a... Oh. 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 Ah, I'll pull up a photo for you. Yeah. Yeah, Plo Koon. He's truly, like, one of the best Jedis. And I don't think he got enough recognition and he deserved more, arguably top five Jedi. Probably because he looks like a Cthulhu monster. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, the way he understood the force, the able, the, like the way he was able to do that, that force lightning, the yellow lightning. I can't remember. I think it's like judgment lightning or something like that. And the way he had an understanding of the people and, and took not like the following seriously, but looked after the people more. Yeah. I don't know. And then he died the way he did. Yeah, I'm not happy about that. He deserved a better death. 
We are way better at that than <laughs> just exploded. We know nothing. Oh, there's 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 a good hot take. Okay. Um, stop having characters survive Order sixty six. It feels like it means nothing now. Mm, okay. There's so many Jedi that survived Order sixty six that it is lost any impact like that. Mm. That I have okay. one better. I, I I actually had a I have a hot take. Wow, these hot no takes more are good. Order sixty six. Let's just stop talking about it. <laughs> like as cool as it is, that like James, you have to agree. Doesn't it feel less and less special the more we get more of Order sixty six? Like the only exception is the Bad Batch because it actually was relevant. But the relevance of Order 66 and its backstory to Kenobi was far less because we already moved on. So, let let me 66. ask you this. Are you talking like as of right now, nothing else to Order 66 past Ahsoka? Nothing else past that? At least for the time being. Because so, like, so that's what you're saying? Like you mean like – are you saying like everything yeah. we've gotten so Over far the you past... don't need anymore? Or are you like talking like from now on? Uh, I guess it depends because right now like – Okay, we have Ahsoka coming out me, in August. So like me, anything past that, out. you're good. Let me let me let me lay it out for you. Okay. Right, we got the la- right, in the past five years, we got the last season of the Clone Wars. All right. The yes. first season of the Bad Batch, Order mm-hmm. 66, that was like prevalent for like 900 hours. Um uh Kenobi, we had like a character dedicated to the Order 66, and that was terrible. And also Which one was that? here's uh that was the third sister. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's survived. right. survived. Also, you know what? No, I'm getting heated. Okay. Why is... Does death mean nothing anymore? In Star Wars? Like, this practically chick nothing. should have died the first time a saber went through her chest. Well, like, the, people say, like, anger is the is the source of all life in the Sith way. It's like, I don't know. I feel like it's... But she wasn't angry. She was, she was a brat. <laughs> Wow. She was pissed at Kenobi, we'll say that. For what? I don't know. She had he didn't reason. do it. She had a reason. She had no reason to be upset with him other than just to track down Vader. And her grand scheme was, okay, Vader's going to be turned around and I'm going to poke him with a lightsaber. <laughs> you freaking fool. What a good strategy. <laughs> what a, and I feel bad for the actress because she got so much shit. She got I don't. So I do not feel bad for the character in writing. It was horrible. Also, by the way, here's a hot take: uh, the Kenobi show was terrible. Well, I feel like that's not a hot take. I'd say that's. I wouldn't say it's terrible. It's just deeply boring. Yeah. I mean, like, I was. I was excited. Like we were all was, really I'd... excited. It was very underwhelming. All right. I'm going to hit you with one of my hottest takes. <sighs> I don't like Dave Filoni and John Favreau's approach to storytelling. Whoa. Okay. Wow. I think wow. they're... Let's hear him out. Let's hear him out. Yeah, I know. I'm hearing him. Smashing the action figures together is not wow. compelling and not interesting storytelling in the slightest. You get the kind of cool, like, half-second lizard brain moment of, like, oh, sh- that's that guy from the thing and then it's like yeah but why do i care why should okay. i care about any of this i think okay. it's most prevalent in at least the cameos mm-hmm. for season two and like also like uh book of boba fett book mm-hmm. of boba fett is where it all really fell apart for i me. i was really um, disappointed with that one i mean like yeah like i just wasn't bored. I I appreciated the practical effect. I appreciate the practical effect. Yeah, of all that was shows. cool. And then and then the, the Mando season and a half. Yeah, storytelling, storytelling is hasn't kind of hasn't been good. And I'd also add on to Cameron's point. In retrospective, these recent seasons, and this might just be me, makes the first season of Mandalorian seem less special because you're at you're kind of getting a peek behind the curtain and you're like okay the like you you I yeah like whenever whenever he said it best do that to me 
whenever shows do that to me, I'm like, oh man, the magic's gone. I I, I can't elaborate I can't. on on um peek behind the curtains for season. Okay, so we all know. Uh, I think Cameron talked about this uh, the last time he was on. Um, where it's like uh, you you brought the mo- big monster on a uh, big monster thing going. Where it's like, can we not like have like a scene that is interrupted by a big monster that yes. everyone has to collectively gather together and like defeat? Yeah. That happens way so too much often. Yeah, in all three seasons. Mm-hmm. Or even when Mandal, where the Mandalorian goes to a different setting. All right, there's a creature he has to battle. He has to mm-hmm. overcome it. There's a little bit of a cliffhanger that'll lead into a different episode, and that continues that. to go on and on and on and on. Yeah, and that's what I mean by like a peek behind the curtain, where like before you watch an episode, you can kind of just you can kind of see where it goes. You don't know exactly what like it will happen, but you will know the chain of events that will occur. These hot takes are pretty warm, man. I thought Cameron was going to be like, Star Wars is worse than Star Trek or something like that. Do you want a hot take? I'll I give you a hot take. Okay, okay, hot. So, right. do we just jump on? Do we just jump in? Do we just hold on? Do we just jump into Fuego? I think we go right into it. Right? Fuego. So, Fuego. Okay. Um, Colin, I, you almost said one when I was telling you to hit the pause button here. Go for it. Um, I think Star Wars should take a break and at least maybe one property, like one like one movie per year. Just slow down. I think that we need a excuse me, a hard reset and learn the lessons the last four years. And learn the lessons of the past since rogue one even and rogue one is a great movie great. like i will argue that rogue one is a great movie uh it's not perfect cameron's awfully it's, quiet it's, i feel like he's gonna wind up and hit us or something it's it's better than a lot of, it's better than a lot of stuff that we have gotten and i am not like the biggest star wars fan of all time but i also like to enjoy star wars i like mm-hmm. to watch a, a movie and have fun with it and i've always had fun with star wars whenever it was good but Nowadays, it feels like that's becoming far less and less and less. Mm. And for them to slow down production, that'll mean that they have more time to flesh out stories and characters. And if you want to continue to create a plan, you can create a plan that will last for a very long time. Mm. But, you know, you would have to do that slow build like MCU phase one. But with MCU Phase One, we got like maybe one or two Marvel movies per year out of that, and that was yeah, it was enough. a while. It was over it four years. Good. It was over four years and five movies, six movies. So five movies, six uh, movies. to backpedal, I don't think Star Wars should end, but they should start to uh, close whatever chapter they're in to begin a new era. Yeah, like okay. the less we have, the more special it feels. You know. Yeah. Yes, I can give you that. All right, Kim, what do you got? Um, I'm I'm trying to figure out what I want to say here. Um, a hot take would be pretty yeah, good. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you. Mm-hmm. Season two of The Mandalorian is also bad. Bad at just period or worse or just like just n- it's not good. Oh. Like season two, I think focuses far too much on setting up other stuff and takes away what i liked about mando Mm -hmm. Uh, like i liked mando for being its own thing Mm -hmm. and like the second it started connecting to the larger universe it just like felt like all the magic was ripped away from the show like the Mandalorian was now quintessential and important to the Star yeah, Wars universe. Yeah, it's like I I want it to be its own thing, doing its in its own little corner of the galaxy, making it connected to the greater Skywalker saga is um like the worst thing that could have happened to that. I feel show. like once once you do that, it it kind of just like it's it's that's the, the same it's the start of the down same feeling. That's yeah. the same feeling I got when I was reading Venom mm. and 
I was enjoying Venom because he was a darker, you know, like he was in his own little corner of the Marvel Universe. But once they had him meet Captain America and the Avengers and the Avengers are like, do you want to become an Avenger? I'm like, oh, this feels weird now. Yeah, like yeah. this, this isn't like, that's the same. Yeah, I, I get what I get the feeling Cameron got. Yeah, that's fair. Um, The other one I had is kind of wig. I don't know. But uh, here we go. Uh, Obi-Wan was insanely naive until it was too late. Just insanely Elaborate. naive, period. Your hot Elaborate. takes are very nice. So. Okay, so yeah. uh, what I mean by that is that Qui Gon Jinn is like, hey man, you don't got to do everything the order says. Like, as long as you play it by respect, you can branch out and and learn different things and and trust the feelings of the Force because that's what you know Qui Gon was all about. He was all about Force and trusting in it rather than relying on the people that work with you. Uh, and then kind of the bigger one is an Attack of the Clones when Count Dooku is like, hey guys your whole club is ran by a really bad dude and obi-wan just straight up went nah -uh," and never like took it into consideration because if he was saying like you know i wish qui-gon you know could have met one more time and out of respect for him being my mentor him being your master i'm gonna give this little nugget of advice and he just ignores it and kind of does his own thing and until he also keeps ignoring anakin and he realizes he pushed him too far then he's like, I'm sorry. Can you, I'm sorry. And then it's like, it's yeah. too late. So it's not text. necessarily survival. Qui -Gon. You hate Qui-Gon? I think Qui-Gon is a stoner. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coldest take yet. That's the... <laughs> I'm... You you watch Qui Gon and the Phantom Menace. I feel like that's just Liam Neeson. When they were escaping that oh. fish monster, and uh, and Jar Jar was like me so scared, whatever he was saying. You don't have and, to be the voice. You can and just... he was like, relax, relax. <laughs> yeah. He's there like, is no, no doubt. Going on, man. There is no doubt in my mind that Qui Gon was the he hit the spice all of the jedi do you think he'd get some he spice was, in between every run he had some spice he definitely had a spice in his sure. belt He's, yeah <laughs> i don't know i feel like since his 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 you know, his calm and, and wild times is pretty chill uh i think cameron had a chill with his one, death though. all right how much you can do there buddy Just hot, let it happen. hot take hot take alert uh, -huh. uh the last jedi is the best one it's the best star wars movie you know solid no sorry dude I'm sorry. So sorry sorry like i look I'll, I'll say this i'm with you guys i defend parts of that movie parts it has more to say than any other star wars movie and canto bite way more interesting what what's the, what's to say about canto bite what do you mean what's it's there to say about that the like rich the people exist in star wars ever. we have coruscant it's... what <laughs> What's what he said? It's got more to say about the Star Wars world, right? That's what you just said. Yeah, to do with legacy and oh, okay. like all of the incredible themes to do with like the morality of the Force and um the uh the lessons we learn from failure and how um we see l how to live with being a legend, how to um I'm not gonna disagree any of those with parts. your own failures. I'm not gonna disagree with that. Um, the themes isn't, were great. Isn't great. No, it it's took me out of the movie. Like, hey, animal, treat animals nice, but also we have like, guardians for ultimately, that. Ultimately, it's harmless. I don't think that much of it. It's like not a big part of the movie. It's just like every other Star Wars movie has a sequence where they do just some random bull for like half an hour like um i don't know canto bite took me out of the movie like i get the theming of yes legacy and the morality of the force is great that's the th that's the parts i will defend but just like i don't know kind of okay james do you also believe it's so pretty that, that movie is so popular. well shot the cinematography is unmatched i will say that that is one of the best parts of the movie that's one of my positives i've always took out of it what's your question and also Colin? i really hope they make a sequel to the last jedi someday i think that would be great the second to the last jedi yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like a movie that actually like follows that up. You yeah, know, I want to see how that story ends. You know, wasn't that going to be the follow up to what would have been Rise of Skywalker? Like that was Abrams' original story was following from that. 
No, I was just being mean to Rise of Skywalker. Okay. Because I like being mean to Rise of Skywalker. The original story, the one we never saw. The J.J. Abrams like version of it the when Duel Disney was... The Duel of the Fates, that's right. Or That's Trevorrow's. I thought that was Abrams. No, that's Trevorrow. Colin okay. Trevorrow uh, wrote the script, I believe. Gotcha. Uh, and, and he was supposed to direct it, but then he went to Jurassic World. And what oh, an I'm... L he took for that. Yeah, jeez. Well, um, a, 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 a softer L than what he would have taken for that movie. That's guy Star Wars. No, movie. no. If they went through, if they went through with this script, that that would have that I, I I truly believe that would have been. I get that Disney was just like erase it, start all over again. I don't know why they shot it away. But what's your question? Three Paul? things. Three things. First one is a question. Do you believe that the Canto Bite uh, is only hated? just because it was the most popular thing to hate about the movie. I will and, say and that is a very popular that. thing people choose to hate. But for me, when I went to go see the movie, it still took me out of it. Like, I kind of felt like, like uh, let's just... It no, just no, I know, I know. I just but don't now believe it's, it's that egregious of a scene. As I, 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 to... I'm not saying it's like the worst thing of the movie, but it's the, it's the one thing that every time they went back, ignoring what was kind of happening, was taking me out. Like the sense of urgency it, felt lost every time we went back. To it Kent felt Bay. stiller BS. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I, I don't. I I personally, I personally don't like it. I like um, it. but I I still believe that the rise of Scott. Okay, here's the here's the second thing. Hmm. All right. Um, I don't count the sequel trilogy canon to the Star Wars universe. <laughs> what? I really don't. <laughs> Okay. I really don't. Cameron, what do you it's, got? What's what's a, you you flopped right back? Grow up. It's I been, no okay. Hear it. me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Okay, is that? <laughs> and I don't I don't announce this to everybody. It's like if you count the sequel trilogy as a part of the Star Wars universe, you're not a Star Wars fan. I just think that the sequel trilogy is so disjointed, and it's tonally all over the place like each movie doesn't feel like a continuation it just feels like it feels like each movie we missed two seasons of like sure. character development sure i'm not disagreeing on that um, one. the continuation of that thing was awful my third thing is that i truly believe that ryan johnson deserved his trilogy because he was supposed to get a star wars trilogy and he demonstrated that he really cares about Star Wars. I think that he got the short end of the stick by giving the second movie continuing someone else's story rather than allowing Ryan to create his own trilogy. He's hot. That's why I don't all agree. That's why I don't. That's why we barely I, disagreed I on mind. any of these things. <laughs> I don't I I don't I don't think I I think that Ryan Johnson he's proven to be a talented writer and director. He's a beautiful and visionary. For people to for people to say that he ruined uh mm. Star Wars. I think he was yeah. he, first off he was trying to improve it. Sure. And you know, he was improving it. Um yeah. I don't agree with everything that he chose especially with Luke Skywalker. Like uh, uh, mm -hmm. some of the stuff that they had him do I wasn't a big fan of yeah and uh that's just me and yeah. but i wouldn't say that it you know it's character assassination because he's still uh, some of them are skywalker pretty intense still, luke skywalker still went out heroically like he 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 did something that we've always wanted to see with yoda which was we never wanted to see yoda with a lightsaber we wanted yoda that's to use his yoda mind and soul it's insane what? that's one of the What's worst up? parts of the prequel trilogy what was the idea it? Of giving Yoda a lightsaber is so. Well, didn't they say from the original like, movies he was like a master duelist? There are cooler ways to interpret that thing to give him a lightsaber. That I agree, but I think if you hype up, like I don't know, I feel like the fight in Revenge of the Sith was better than the fight than with Dooku. Man. Let's okay. get into the prequels. <laughs> okay. Let's 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 get into the prequels. Um, the prequels are real bad, and I don't like them. Okay, we all agree that the first two are horrible. And one other hot take I wanted to say because when you mentioned the Phantom Menace, what the hell was Force Speed that we never saw again? They oh yeah, ran, when they go like, and yeah, then they they, like... they do like a CW flash run, and then 
it's just i love that joke with the mickey it's like that's a sense of power we'll never use again like i feel yeah. like that could have been used so many other times um let me let me just yeah. say my my grand sense. statement for the prequel trilogy uh-huh. is that on paper mm-hmm. this story works like on a conceptual level showing the downfall the of the jedi order works mm-hmm. however the prequel trilogy fails at every single step of its execution to the point where i do not care about a single character in it are you talking yeah. all three or are you talking first all three two? all three wow um i think they're all bad um wow in my ranking on my in my notes app they occupy the last three places in all of really Star- yes wow. i have phantom menace attack of the even Clones. rise what's that even rise rise is like right above it just because i think it has better production value and better acting i think it's Fair. just as just as stupid as them but um uh actually anyway. yeah i i would rather rewatch rise than the prequels because wow uh, i i do no hold on hold on hold on hold on because cameron has a has a point here okay rise of skywalker has more rewatchability because of today's standards we have to we have to we have to think about today's standards oh i know i'm thinking of today's standards it's very important because yeah you know if you have if you have nostalgia for those movies or you're watching them through the lens of a like a historical lens of like okay all right these are how movies used to be made and you can appreciate appreciate it from that level yeah and you still can through the technical aspects of it because it did accomplish a lot of stuff uh cgi wise but that also doesn't work with how george lucas was directing them like the action was very bland you know it was uh, one of its most criticisms that i agree with is that the sequel uh the the prequel trilogy is rather boring you know it's more world building rather than you know political watching too. A blockbuster. you know yeah. very political as well it's essentially and like the, the i'm just a bill song as a movie you know from schoolhouse yeah. rock at least with rise of skywalker its action was better its production was better the special effects were better the story those two stories like i'd say that this uh, prequel trilogy has a better story on paper than the rise of skywalker so i'll give points to the prequel trilogy on that one but i would agree with uh, cameron where he's coming from i disagree uh-huh. wholeheartedly man let me just say the whole trilogy its emotional crux hinges on two relationships anakin and obi-wan's and anakin and padme's and i don't buy either of them really those relationships have been like pretend you didn't see the clone wars james pretend you didn't see the clone yeah i I know i know i'm pretending like i'm not people into thinking that the prequel trilogy is good that's actually one of my hot takes is that without the clone wars the prequel trilogy may be the worst trilogy but i disagree that the whole prequel trilogy is bad is worse than the rise of skywalker every time sorry um so basically (laughs) uh obi-wan and anakin barely share any screen time and when they do they're just like quipping and we have no reason to like actually care about them <laughs> like they're just like, yeah hey, remember when we fell into that pit crazy times right um <laughs> and then like anakin and padme do spend like a whole movie together but it fails just because like the chemistry between the two is so bad i There's, i'm not disagreeing i'm not disagreeing so on that. bad like I'm i don't have on any of that to- like Your I don't believe so that odd. they're so madly in love, and I'm like, this is so awkward and terrible. And I'm, I'm not like, disagreeing I just any of this that. Stop. No, no, no. And recently, my dad and I. Well, let me take it back. My dad started rewatching Attack of the Clones, like randomly. He, I was like, why are you watching this? He goes, Is he okay? Good. I go. I asked him why is he watching it. I asked him to make sure. I was like, he goes, I'm pretty good. You know, last time we saw it, I went to go see it with your mom before you were born. 
and I just don't remember much of it. So I go, okay. So I sit down with him just to see his reaction. And every past the first scene with, with uh, Padme and Anakin together. So that first moment, every moment since then, he goes, can you just rewind this BS? I, I can't hear his whining anymore. Like he would, he would fast forward the entire thing. And I thought it was great because finally he's now seeing what I'm talking about. And I don't disagree. Their chemistry is so odd. But every single time I've tried to rewatch Rise of Skywalker past past the line, somehow Palpatine returned. I just I'm out of it. Like I'm so Oscar tired. Oscar Isaac's delivery is yeah. so I mean, good. His delivery is great. Oscar Isaac is a showstopper. Uh, no. uh, uh, John no, Boyega his is delivery a was no that wasn't that wasn't oscar isaac playing poe that was wow. oscar isaac just reading the line just being himself Somehow and that's why i love it yeah he wasn't even acting he was just genuinely pissed but john boyega and oscar isaac to me are the best things about that movie uh listen john Boy- yeah actually another probably hot take i think we're all gonna agree with john boyega was severely underused severely yeah and if they were to make him the Jedi and Rey the Sith by the end of the movie, that would have probably led to a way better trilogy to watch coming out in seven, eight years, whatever, than what we have now. Ben Solo could have died, could have cared less. Well, less. And I think if John Boyega was to continue being the Jedi and Rey going off to be a Sith. All right, boys. All right, so last thing I wanted to say, because I do actually have to get going pretty yeah, soon. Right, last thing I wanted to say was or ask you guys so we all remember the marketing of the force awakens as you know it was approaching and we saw john John boyega you know holding that blue lightsaber the most coolest shot i don't know if i was the yeah i don't know if i was the only one that thought this but i thought john boyega's character while i was watching the movie before the end where it was revealed that ray was you know a jedi her was just her it was just her. Yeah. Her. Um, I thought John Boyega was going to be like, he didn't have the force, but he was still going to have the lightsaber and he was going to be training to use it and just be this normal person holding a lightsaber. Like, oh. I thought they were going to do something along the lines of that where it's like, because we've never really seen like that I, I, lightsaber I'm outside sure of the Skywalker ha- family. I'm sure you can count, you know, the dark saber, but we never really like seeing like anybody hold a lightsaber, but them not having the force, just using it as a weapon because that's yeah. just what they. Have. That was a really great scene in the movie, and and also that specific lightsaber has never been used outside of the Skywalker family, so I thought that'd be really cool, like a dark saber, like you said, that was great, like. Or and that would also like really work with like Ryan Johnson's like themes of like you don't need to have the force to yeah. you know yeah. be a hero. You know, yeah, you know you don't you don't need the force to like appear as heroic as like a yeah. Jedi. You and just I thought maybe you. they were going to also switch midichlorians, like just wipe that off the map and have the force now be something we all said in the beginning you believe in and you're just like you're in it because you know in the beginning of the movie he didn't want to do the execution. We see him trying to be a hero and back away from that life he led. And then, bam, Jedi. Like, I thought that'd be a great way to do it. No. Didn't do it. This is kind of a sad note to end on. Cameron, give us something better, buddy. I'll I'll, I'll, I'll give a better note to end on. Andor is the best Star Wars ever. Nothing is, like, even close to it. Andor is... So you're talking show, show or just Star Wars? Star Wars. Ever. Andor is miles beyond everything else like thing as well I, performances acting, great. plot special writing effects. special effects cinematography cinematography ideas themes everything miles ahead twists dude that that death star twist when they're working that on was the death cool. star well, well <laughs> spoiler that was cool yeah, oh, a tree. show's been out for a while yeah, yeah um, that was great. I, I, I'm, not, I I'm just like, Andor. I, I don't disagree. Andor's great. Andor. It's, it's great. I, Andor. But for me, it's tied between that and Think Empire. Hmm. For me, it's tied. For, it's tied for number one with Empire. Wait, what's your number one? Empire. I love Empire. Empire oh, is my okay. favorite movie of all time. I think it's the best Star Wars, period. It's they're, they're neck and neck. Like, they're both terrific. But Andor of recent time is the best. Hmm. I don't know. Volume 3 is my favorite movie of all time. 
What is? Guardians Volume Three is my oh. favorite movie of all time. Yeah. O- okay. Over time, over over time, the more I've thought about it, the more obsessed obsessed I've been about Guardians. The more I've come to the conclusion that right now, at this very moment, Guardians Three is my f- my top favorite movie. Like it. Okay. I and and I I'm like I know I, I was saying like my favorite those, Star Wars movie. But go I on. know, but you also said your favorite movie of all time. It's one of my and favorite. And I just wanted to. I wanted to quickly quickly just talk about how much people need to play the square enix's guardians video game. it's unreal it's so unreal. good if, if you're missing james gunn's guardians square enix already made a video game that's basically a movie like yeah, their cutscenes are long but you don't feel it you're just you you, you sometimes want to stop playing just so you can watch them like riff off of each other like the dialogue is so entertaining. It's Guardians good. Three is my favorite. I love it. Cameron, have you played it yet? Oh yeah, yeah okay. I, I got it at launch. Yeah, it's. Have you finished it yet, Colin? Um, I have not finished it yet. Have you played it since the last time we talked yes, about I've it? Yes, I played it. That's oh, why I was okay. talking about it. Sorry. Well, I just I don't know. You've been playing it slowly. Oh, it's a I, great like, game. I like to take my time. I, I've no, been busy. I get you. You also, you also know I've been painting my room. That's I, why I'm yeah, recording. I, I could, I could see. Also, there are parts of the video where, like, your wrist is covered in paint or your nails are covered in paint. There you go. Yeah, yeah. It looks like you just fist fought a wall and lost. Also, man, Barry ends. Yeah. Tomorrow. I'm sad. What? Barry ends tomorrow, man. Oh yeah, Barry season four. Oh, ends. Gosh. I haven't seen season four, but how is it? Oh, it's so great. Good. It's so, so good. good. That's so, so good. good. Maybe Thank maybe maybe we'll do a berry. We'll do a berry episode once it's over. Oh yeah. That'd I'd love to do a berry episode where we can just talk about Bill Hader and his career. Oh. I oh, definitely man. believe if he goes into horror, it could win best picture. Literally whatever he does next, I'm down for. Mm-hmm. It could be the Barbie sequel. Also, watch Succession. I have yet yeah. to start that. That's my that's my girlfriend's dad's favorite show though. Is that suck suck suck? Uh, whoa, I success. can't say that word. Success. Succession. Yeah. Um, it is so good. I I love it. It's a great show where everyone sucks. That is true. Um, oh, yes, I, I know about the show. It's with Brian Cox, uh, one of the McCul- my Culkin brothers. Jeremy Strong, Kieran Culkin, Sarah Snook, Matthew McFadden, um, the guy from yeah. Ferris Bueller. I saw that one scene where I think they were playing cricket or something, and Kieran Culkin's character bet it, uh, placed a bet with a little kid. That's yeah, like that's, you'll get like a very million dollars, episode. and then the kid lost. Yeah, and he rips up the check in front of him, and it's just like, was, oh man, that he's was a harsh mean. Mean. He's so mean. I yeah, I've him. seen only bits yeah. and pieces, but he's my favorite. Succession is insane. Y'all should watch it. It also ends it. tomorrow. A lot of I saw this TikTok where 2023 is this is the season of ends. We got yeah. Umbrella Academy season four ending, Succession, Barry, uh, Umbrella uh, Stranger Things, Ted yeah, Lasso. Umbrella Academy season four. Yeah, what was that? Ted Lasso. Ted Lasso. Oh, are you guys watching uh, that? Uh, you watching? I'm that? I'm a couple weeks behind. I need to catch up. All All I'll tell you is this. Me too. Um, I I'm not happy with the writers for making me cry so much. <laughs> like i'm really not like I, there's not like the last two episodes i've watched without crying i can't i, I can't take any more of it it's so good. wouldn't it have sucked for the writer strike to have happened while all of our favorite shows are ending oh my god i'm i'm, I'm so happy that shows are ending before <laughs> actually one last like thing to end on stuff. before before we go. go go on i want to end on that real quick yeah i'm, I'm very happy shows are ending like on their own terms and not yeah. like forced to stop themselves yeah until like oh like the flash <laughs> yeah hey, that's, that's an example that's that's oh walking oh, dead. oh i'm sorry to speak ill of the dead it's no been i dead don't for, i don't much care hey that show's been four dead seasons for me for years. too long yeah yeah that show's been dead for me for years fun fun fact about the flash show Run, Barry. my uh i don't know if i should say this legally yeah whatever my hold uh, on what are you gonna say uh my dad he works have to go. For, like he works for like our local news station, like our local NBC station. And uh, right before the flash came out, like two weeks before it premiered, 
my dad came home with like a copy of the pilot and I got to watch it early. It's dope. Well, I mean, cool. the show is over now, so I don't think he can. Yeah. No. And no one knows your dad or anyone yeah. listening. Yeah. Now, if, if they do research, which I doubt yeah. anyone is, yeah. it would be pretty wild. Uh, okay. And one last thing for the writer strike, because you reminded me on that, Cameron. Ryan Reynolds is legally yeah. not allowed yeah. to <laughs> riff or uh, what's the word? Uh, 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 improv. Improv on set of Deadpool 3. He's legally wow. not allowed because part of the WGA, if he riffs and he improvs, that's con- that's considered writing, writing new material. The writing, yeah. And you have to then get compensated. Yep. So he has to stick with the script. So you think Deadpool 3 now is going to become... I think they're going to pause production. They until... better, right? Because he just started a few days ago. Yeah. I would rather have it be paused let the WGA I'd get through and have it be extended. Everything that's shooting right now that like I care about and I love that is still shooting, like Andor's still shooting. They better stop. Um, well, I, I think I yeah, no, I doubt I, you can improv that, that. I hope they have plenty of time, like for for the writer's strike to be over. Like I hope they're I hope it's over before they can begin reshoots, yeah. so they can reshoot and improv. That's what I'm just, thinking. I think Deadpool should just so stop. Sad. They should just because stop. The magic... Let it go and, and reshoot. Let it go. No, no I'm so have it destroyed. So the WGA, keep going. This is a message for you. Keep going. Keep solidarity. Keep, keep going. We're all in solidarity on the podcast, but this is a message for you, CEOs. Pay your writers. Listen to their deals. They need help. CEOs that are totally listening to this podcast. Every single one of them. Die. <laughs> Deadpool 3. WGA. Save Deadpool 3. Save DP3. That hashtag Deadpool save DP3 is writers. going to be going on our TikTok. The WGA needs hey, to keep protesting and get their, get their attention. Don't you want a solid Deadpool trilogy? I will remember you. Do you care? Like, clearly you don't because there's a writer's strike. Do you not know I live on this earth and I pay you money for you to entertain me like the monkeys you are? Okay, all right, all right. We're going to, okay, all right. WGA. You greedy corporate shit. No, shows. no, the hey, WGA is good. No, We're WGA in solidarity. Is good. No, the no, WGA. there's a period at the end of that. There's a period at the end of that. Well, you don't say the WGA, you greedy people. Well, sorry, sorry. They're WGA, the ones, they're sure the ones getting screwed over. Them. Greedy for basic life. Clearly, there is a miscommunication. They should be paying me for watching. Oh man, Colin, you were going so. I got. I probably should re-listen to that before I. Maybe I, I'll cut that whole speech out. If there was, <laughs> if it was not directed the right way. No, we like the WGA. They oh, the WGA. Thing. Oh God, you want to be paid more? I I would love to see the Bane Harley Quinn be like, what what what's what's going on, guys? We we give you the goods. Like what what are we doing? That's my favorite iteration of Bane. Colin and I were talking about that the other day. It's he's it makes me cry. I need to watch more of that show. Just look up his best moments. It gets kind of it does it, it changes format after like season you. three. Harley Quinn, all Bane scenes. That's all you need to watch. I love him. It's so good. I, I don't think I've laughed Harley harder does. after his moments in, in the show. It's great. All right, yeah, that'll have to be that'll have to be uh, the final call you Ted. No, that don't have to be roll credits on this episode of the 2B podcast. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for thanks for dropping on, Cameron. Really appreciate yeah, you no taking problem. time out of your no busy sleeping Could schedule. Come back. Yeah. <laughs> again. Yeah, we'll yeah. definitely have him back up again for this, our... and I'm gonna go to bed right after. Yeah. Um... We'll definitely have him back for our, our Marvel hot takes whenever we get to do that one because there's a lot of good ones out there. I feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, cool. but if you guys haven't checked this out yet, go on TikTok, Twitter, and letterbox, all in the description below. Uh, hit subscribe and like and hit the bell for notifications but when we post we want you guys to not miss out on that a lot of good stuff happening cameron thank you again for joining really appreciate it dude no no problem thank you where can we where can we see you going in the next few days you're gonna be working on something colin i'm forcing you to work on something your first video for your not she a pet channel okay colin really trying to plug you here buddy yeah colin's working on something no, no, it's it was cutting out. It was cutting out. Oh, no, oh I thought you were just really out. having me spell um, this all out for you, dude. 
Okay. No, it was cutting out. Um, okay. Yeah, no, I'm working on something. I don't know if it's going to be released in a few days, but I would like it, it to be. It should be. Um, giving you for now, opinion. you don't know where to find me, but that's okay, because I will find you. Nope. Okay. Thank you guys uh, again for watching. Oh, See God. You next. See you next time. I got to go.